Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on equations of lines. And what I'm gonna do in the next in this video is rewrite each of these equations in slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is the form that is y equals mx plus b. It's our favorite form because it is the only one that is unique. Every other form has multiple ways of writing it. And so that's why you always have to do everything in slope intercept form because if I have to grade 100 and 15 tests, I want to make sure that I don't have 115 different versions of the same line. And slope intercept is the way to do it. Um, for instance, if I divided this through by 4, I would have the same line. If I multiplied this one through by 8, I would have the same line. It would, it gets messy. Okay, to go from this standard form to slope intercept form is two steps. I sometimes push it out to three but it's two steps. You move your x term over. Subtract 5x from both sides. I'm just moving it over. They're not like terms. 7y equals negative 5x plus 8. Then divide to get y alone. Two steps. Negative 5 sevenths x plus 8 sevenths. Done. Two steps. Subtract 4x from both sides. Subtract. 7y equals negative 4x minus 14. Divide by 7. In this case, I can divide by 7. y equals negative 4 sevenths x minus 2. So how can I make this harder? How can I add more steps? There's always a way. Um, I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides. And I'm going to get a negative 4y equals a negative 8x minus 12. I don't really like dividing by a negative. I find that when students divide by a negative, they sometimes make really, really, really simple mistakes. So what I wanna do is I wanna just kinda slip in an extra step where I multiply through by a negative one. And if I multiply through by a negative one, it's just a sign changer. I get 4y equals 8x plus 12. Negative times a negative is positive. Negative times a negative is positive negative times a negative is positive. It just is an extra bit of caution to make sure that everything we do is perfect. y equals 2x plus 3. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!